If you love playing pickleball, then this video is extremely important for you because we will be covering some of the latest and most important rule changes in pickleball for 2023. Even though pickleball has technically been around since 1965, the game's meteoric rise in popularity over the course of the past few years has resulted in a number of significant rule modifications. These modifications are intended to maintain parity within the sport and guarantee that every participant will have equal opportunity to compete. Hello and welcome to Pro Pickleball Media, your number one spot for all pickleball content. Our channel is dedicated to the fastest growing sport in the US and we cover all fun and exciting things related to pickleball. So if you love pickleball and want to learn more about it, just take a second to subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our recent videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about the most important pickleball rule changes that you should know in 2023. Now let's get right into the video. Every year, the official rule book is reviewed and, if necessary, altered and updated as pickleball rules evolve with the sport. As a result, it is critical to stay current on pickleball rule revisions in order to make the correct call on the pickleball court. Of the 78 proposed rule changes for the 2023 calendar year, there are six major additions, deletions, and other amendments to the pickleball rules that you should be aware of. These include the following. Bye-bye to the one-handed spin serve. The 2021 calendar year produced one of the most hotly debated rule topics in years, centering on the serve. In response, USA Pickleball banned what was known as the chainsaw serve, the 2022 calendar year. However, until recently, USA Pickleball has decided to leave the door open for a one-handed spin serve, would use his or her non-paddle hand. The one-handed spin serve is currently forbidden under the pickleball rules until 2023. While some natural rotation of the ball is expected upon any release of the ball from the hand, the server shall not import manipulation or spin on the release of the ball immediately before the serve, according to the rules. This is true for both volley and drop serves. The reasoning behind the further changes was as follows. The original purpose of the serve was only to begin play. Most players cannot master a truly effective spin serve or return a good spin serve. Effective spin serves require more court space to allow a receiver to react. Only a limited number of players have mastered this, giving them an unfair advantage, and the spin serve is particularly devastating for amateur players. So, say goodbye to the spin serve. It is now time to work on your power and placement instead, or work on spinning the pickleball only with your paddle upon contact with your serve. Now, before we move ahead and talk about more game-changing pickleball tips, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that we can keep bringing more informative pickleball content to you. Your little contribution means a lot for us. Replay for a violation of the service motion or ball release rules. Prior to 2023, any violation of the service motion or ball release rules resulted in a fault or forfeiture of your serve. Any such infraction may now result in a rerun beginning in 2023. If the referee is unsure if a serving infraction happened, he or she may order a replay. If the referee is satisfied that a serving infringement happened, he or she may call an immediate fault. It should be noted that this new replay rule does not apply to service foot faults, but rather to any imparted spin. Further to note, this new replay rule must be invoked by the referee, except that the receiver may also call for a replay if the receiver cannot detect that an item on the hand contacted a visibly spun ball in a non-officiated match, or if the release of the ball is not visible to the receiver. The replay must be requested prior to the return of serve. This new rule modification may appear to encourage certain players to stretch the envelope, as both the server and the receiver because the server can push the rules and the receiver can request a replay on forceful serves. According to the USA Pickleball Rules Committee, players and officials may have to be wary of players who seek to game the system by calling for frequent improper replays as a technique to distract their opponent. To tackle this, USA Pickleball Rule Committee states that the referee has the ability to assess verbal and technical warnings to handle this type of unacceptable behavior when merited. This rule will undoubtedly be watched to see whether it changes in the future. Wrong score called. In terms of a about face, one change from the previous year has been reversed. Pickleball regulations was revised in 2022 to prevent a player from interrupting play after the serve owing to an incorrect score being called. Starting in 2023, the pickleball regulations will revert the former rule about incorrect scores, which states that if the server or referee calls the incorrect score, any player may stop play at any point before the return of serve to fix the score. If, however, any player stops playing after the return of serve, that player has committed a fault. So, if the inaccurate score is called, either rectify it immediately or wait until the rally is over. Beware of your clothing color. Pickleball rules currently include two guidelines regarding the color of your clothing on the pickleball court. To begin, as a matter of sportsmanship, pickleball players should avoid wearing attire that closely resembles the ball color. 
Furthermore, if any close colors are present in a pickleball event, the tournament director may ask a player to change in proper gear, including that which approximates the color of the ball. So keep an eye for those bright yellow and neon colors on the pickleball court. Pickleball comes in a variety of colors, although the most frequent are pale green, orange, or yellow. Some players choose to wear apparel that match the color of the ball to obtain an advantage. This allows opposition players to lose sight of the ball on the return. While the rule amendment has no penalties, it was passed as a suggestion rather than a firm and fast regulation. Equipment timeouts are in. This regulation change affects tournament players more. Previously, if your equipment malfunctioned, you had to utilize a timeout or time between games to adjust or replace it. A referee can now award an equipment timeout to facilitate any necessary equipment adjustment or replacement, preventing players from having to use their valuable timeouts. Non-officiated play encourages players to collaborate to give an acceptable concession in these cases as well. Other revisions to remove conflict between players and referees. The official rulebook is generally amended in order to protect the integrity of the sport for future generations and in the best interest of the players. The official rulebook is also being changed to lessen the possibility of dispute between referees and players on the pickleball court. For example, there are a few changes to clarify when line calls are to be made. What happens when a pickleball hits a player? What happens when a pickleball is degraded? What questions players may ask a referee? And more. More time to correct the score. If the wrong score is called, the referee or any player may stop play before the return of serve to correct the score. The rally shall be restarted with the correct score called. Previously, players had only until the ball was served to have their score adjusted. In most circumstances, this isn't a lot of time. Players now have until the return of serve to request a proper score. Of course, if the proper score was announced, the player or team who requested the clarification will be penalized. Now that you're up to date on the latest and greatest pickleball rules for 2023, it's time to keep playing and growing the country's fastest growing sport. Make pickleball and the pickleball community better than ever. So which of these new pickleball rules do you think is the best? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video and share it with your fellow picklers. Also, if you love pickleball, make sure to watch this next video on our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.